My name is Doug Olson. Uh, I'm 66 years old, uh, and my story started over 17 years ago. I was diagnosed with cancer in 1996, um, chronic lymphocytic leukemia uh, to be exact. It wasn't an if, it was at some point uh, I wasn't going to make it. I had a wife and four kids and, and uh, needless to say I was, I was terrified. And my last round of chemotherapy put me in partial remission. But uh, by that time, 40% of my bone marrow was, was uh, actually cancer cells. So it was at that point that uh, Dr. Porter sat me down. He said, Doug, it's time to, to um, consider a bone marrow transplant, uh, something I've been trying to avoid for, for a long time. But then he also said, he said, you know, there's a, uh, a new clinical trial we're just starting. And he talked to me about this new uh, therapy that would use my own white cells to kill the cancer cells, uh, and that he thought I would be a good candidate for it. I agreed to be in the trial. Uh, in fact, I was excited to be uh, in the trial because it was like there, 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 was, there actually was hope, that there was, there, was, uh, there was a way for me to fight this thing that, that before there just wasn't. This was something that uh, could be a cure. The infusion took less than five minutes. Uh, they watched me for another couple of hours and then uh, sent me home with my wife. But almost uh, two weeks uh, to the hour, I woke up on a Monday morning and I had chills and a fever and, and uh, I actually was kind of excited because I, I, uh, I thought something was working. Uh, I sent Dr. Porter a note and he said, uh, you need to come in. Um, and the next day I woke up and I was feeling pretty good. It was, it was either that day or the, or the next, uh, Dr. Porter walked into my, my uh, hospital room and he was holding his, his uh, cell phone and looking at it and he said, hot off the press. He said, Doug, it's working. I was discharged from the uh, hospital on Friday. My, my wife picked me up and uh, we drove straight to the Annapolis boat show and we bought a sailboat, a uh, little 18-foot day sailor. I decided that uh, my grandkids needed to learn how to sail. It was less than a month from when I got my first uh, infusion of these T-cells, and uh, I was already thinking about the future. A week later, I uh, was in Dr. Porter's uh, office in, the, in one of the exam rooms, and. We were sitting there looking at each other, and, and uh, he sort of leaned forward and he, he put his uh, hand on my knee and he, he said, Doug, we can't find a single cancer cell anywhere in your body. Not in your bone marrow, not in your blood. Your lymph nodes are shrinking and he said, uh, it's working. We, we just both sat there looking at each other. And uh, he had tears in his eyes and so did I. It had been a long, long time since I actually could think about uh, there being a future without, without uh, the knowledge that something within, within, that, that was inside me was uh, eventually going to take my life. I'm very healthy and still cancer-free. It's just something that's almost impossible to get your head around, that you were lucky enough to be a patient at Penn where this research was going on. Uh, and uh, this discovery of using the patient's own immune system to fight cancer, it's amazing to be a part of it.